So we're going to activate the clone tool. And we're going to adjust the hardness a little bit. Adjust the size. Make sure we've got opacity and flow at 100%. And even zoom in closer. And we'll start with the ear. We're going to sample from up here because that area is good. And then we're going to be cloning down in this area. Now to sample, you have to move your mouse, press Alt and click. And then you have to kind of keep an eye on where that plus sign is because that is where it's pulling from and uh, it's using that to clone. So we want that plus sign to stay in the black area. And it's not unusual for you to have to sample many times. So if you don't sample many times, that plus sign ends up over here and you're pulling from the wrong area. Now we also need to fix this ear, so I'm actually going to clone from this good one over to this one. And I do need to make my brush a little smaller. Oops, see, I pulled some from too high. That is what happens when it pulls from the wrong area. But this tool is awesome. I use it all the time. Now for the fur in the middle, we do have an area here that's pretty good, so I'm going to clone from there. I'll try to get it to blend somewhat, hopefully. And I got to get up in there. I'm going to decrease the size here. I can get right up in here. I'm going to keep an eye on where that plus sign is. Because remember, that's where it's pulling from. And that doesn't look too bad. Now to get the background here. I'm going to make it a little bigger. And we'll pull from right there. doesn't look too bad. Okay, so there it is at 